All right, Valkyria Chronicles for PC. So, just hit a new game and start skipping cutscenes here. Ow. So, when I run this game, I like to use a controller because I'm used to doing all my menuing in front of the controller. And it's also really helpful when controlling the tank. Uh, another thing I do is that I remap the uh, cancel button because escape is kind of too far away from the keyboard for everything else is. So I put the uh, cancel button to uh, 1 instead of, uh, instead of escape. It's a lot easier to hit. So here you're just bashing through cutscenes at the start of the game. Just take about a minute. And the very first thing you want to do when you go into this level is hit hit left and down, and you will select the Town Watchman. You don't want to use any of these two characters because it is slower. I done I tied it. It's ten seconds slower if you use Walkin or Alicia. Just don't use them. So you want to select the Town Watchman here. Master tutorials. Uh. What I like to do is basically just hold forward on the keyboard, W, and use the mouse to move to uh, aim where I'm going. So I'll walk to here, master tutorial, and then once I cross, once I reach this bridge right here, this post right here, I go into aim mode and aim for this guy's head. It's pretty much guaranteed kill for the most part. Very, 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 like 1% of the time, he will not die from that. But this is where you want to be. Then from there... Normally, the camera should be pointing this way. I like to hold, I like to turn a little bit and then hold forward and left so you walk diagonally like this towards the end of the bridge. Once you cross halfway through the bridge, you get the tutorial message. Just walk towards the end of the bridge. Now, here there's two options. You can head straight this direction towards the sandbag I'm facing. Out. Uh, I'm looking straight towards right now. Alright, this is for the fast route, but we're going to be doing the guaranteed route to kill, so we're going to be heading towards these sandbags instead. Just so we can get closer to this guy over here. Okay. <clears throat> so that's that's the first action. Run over here, kill this guy, and then just run to either here or here. Okay, if you're going for the fast route, you want to end up here on your second movement, so you're just in max range to hit this guy. But that lowers your odds completing the tutorial level by a lot. So now we're going to walk here. Wait until we get within close range of this guy. Just so we get pretty much a guaranteed headshot. And then just kill him off here. And then from here, I'm going to be at an angle where I can just hold right. And I'll be walking straight towards this guy. Wait till I'm re reasonably close to him to end my turn. And then from here, he should die. A uh, good tip while moving is basically look at the mini-map, because then you'll know which direction you're going and where you're heading towards, even though you're not looking directly towards it, so you don't have to waste time moving the camera. And that's the prologue level. Uh, I'm going to be doing the first three levels in a row, because there's nothing really complicated about it. And that should be one video altogether, so I'll just skip cutscenes to chapter one. There's no real variety towards the uh, game levels. They just do the same things over and over again. Uh, chapter 2, there's a lot of different things that can happen that are out of your control, and some of them are, and some of them are naturally faster than others. But uh, you can't really control it, and if it happens, well, you got to just take the time loss over what could happen. <clears throat> like, the optimal things to ha that will happen in Chapter 2 is ridiculously hard. Also, at the beginning of every single chapter, you want to be mashing through either space, X, or whatever you said is a confirm button, A, because there's this player turn banner that pops up, and you hit that button out and immediately, instead of having to wait for it. So, chapter 1. Hit down and select Alicia. We use Alicia over these two, because Alicia has a grenade, which we're going to be using to killing this guy at the end. So, select Alicia, and then just hold forward, it'll walk you through that... It just move you around that uh, fence, and also walk you through this sandbag right here. Here's a small tutorial, mash through it, and make sure you don't mash too much or else you crouch here. So just walk through, and slightly to the right, you want to just walk right past this, right past this truck right here. 
once you reach here, you immediately aim. You should see this one scout here behind the sandbag. This is the guy you need to kill. Right? So just auto aim your grenade here, and then just aim it slightly to the right, and forward if you can, so that it will guarantee go over the sandbag. If the grenade does not go over the sandbag, then you will not kill this guy at one hit. <coughs> and now that's a lot slower, so just make sure he goes over the sandbag and he dies. And that's pretty much it for this part of the chapter one. And then immediately just start spamming the uh, skip cutscene button, which should be start or enter if you're using keyboard. And then immediately start matching the confirm button, because the enemy phase banner appears. And you want to make sure to skip that, or else you're just going to lose time for watching it. So this tank's just going to do his tank things. Uh, there's a chance here that Welkin could just dodge, could dodge this mortar shot, but eh, doesn't really matter. So this tank's always going to do the exact same things, just run forward. So you just wait here, take a nice bathroom break if you want. So cutscene. And now there's two options here. There's the uh, very safe option of running. Uh, so Walken has to run over here. Thankfully he can make it in one action. But he's got four scouts to go through and a tank. So there's two options you can do. You can either run behind the tank here and just make a beeline towards here. Or you can take a more direct route. And cross the street in front of the tank. Um, right behind the tank is very simple. Just run up to the tank, run around him, and then just hug the sidewalk here so that the tank doesn't murder you. Uh, that's very easy to show off. Actually, I'll just show off both of them right now. So, here's the uh, behind the tank method. Run around the tank right here. He should not shoot you. And then just run straight there. Don't jump over the sandbag because jumping over sandbags takes time. And then from there you want to head straight to this corner right here. So the mission completes the instant you reach the sandbag, so you just want to make a straight line for it. So now I'm just gonna load the save and show off the second option you can take on this chapter. I think crossing the street is slightly faster, but it's also slightly it's also riskier because you're getting shot at by a tank. Which could kill you if you're too close to it, or it hits too many shots. So that's the first option, running around the tank. Here's the second option of crossing the street. So you want to run down to about here, right here. And then cross the street here. And you're safe right here. And then just make a straight line towards the sandbag. Like the corner of the sandbag. Yeah, watch out for the flower bed, because you could get stuck on that corner like I just did right there. But this is a pretty simple chapter, and that's chapter one. Not too complicated at all. So now we just got a few more cutscenes before we get to chapter two. And after chapter two, complicated stuff starts happening. <clears throat> so chapter two is mostly just a break chapter here. Uh, the fastest way to finish this, the fi fastest options to do in this chapter is to do nothing at all. <coughs> <clears throat> so that banner right there, just make sure you're bashing through to skip that all times. Uh, more cutscenes. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. Okay, we're gonna end our turn. So we got three guys here defending this gate. Um, this tank's gonna drive up to around here. And fire at the gate all the time. The thing is, um, for the PC port, if you're running at 60 FPS, most of the times the tank will actually have less movement than it would normally. I don't know why that happens. It just does in the PC port. Sometimes he moves about as far as he normally would in the PS3 version or 30 FPS, which is actually helpful if he moves farther because that gives you more room to shoot enemies that are crossing the street here. So there's going to be a scout. There's going to be a scout up. There's a scout up this hill. There's a scout leader here, there's another scout here, and there's a shock trooper. They're all going to move. And the point thing is that the scout leader here that crossing the street, he must die. He must absolutely die. If he doesn't die, you have to go all your way to kill him yourself. So, we're just going to end our turn. This banner right here, just mash through, skip that. 
Well, the tank here is going to go first. Let's see. Nope, he didn't go all the way forward. So that's 60 FPS reduced movement for the tanks. Now the scout leader is going to go. No, this is just a regular scout. Sorry. This is just a regular scout. So as you can see, the tank is blocking the way, but he should almost always die when he's crossing the street here. If he lives, it's not that big of a problem. This scout here. This scout could be the biggest time saver if you get ridiculously lucky. It's just never going to happen. Um, it's actually bad if the scout dies during this turn. You don't want him to die on this turn. You want him to die on the next turn. That's the optimal. This shock tuber is going to do whatever. It doesn't matter. I have yet to ever see him kill this town watchman, but if he ever does, I will be happy. Not really. It's just hilarious if he does manage to do it one day. <coughs> and now the scout leader here. He has to die. So yeah, the tank's blocking. Um, if you kill the first scout, then this guy is almost guaranteed to die when he picks up the corpse, because that pauses him and allows your units to aim at him when he loses all momentum. So, he's dead. We're good. So now we just end our turn again, and wait for everything else to happen. Just a relaxed chapter, nothing you can do here. Uh, once this tank shoots the wall a second time, you have to master that. Just you get a small cutscene with Alicia. So this guy here hopefully dies to this shot. If he doesn't die, you lose time. There we go, he's dead. Good. So yeah, you lose time if he doesn't die, because then he takes a second action. And that's when all your scouts are turned around, so it takes forever to stop him. So this shock trooper is now going to throw a grenade at the gate, and then shoot Alicia. Um, there's a very, very slim chance he kills Alicia. Very, very, very slim chance he kills Alicia. And it's basically never, ever going to happen. I mean, it requires, like, three, five headshots and everything else to hit. It's never going to happen. So now Wilkin arrives, and then from here you just mash the confirm button. <laughs> so, when you're driving the tank in this game, my advice is to never, ever use the mouse. Because when you use the mouse to turn the camera while you're driving a tank, for some reason it'll also turn the tank at the same time, and that burns through all your movement. So I like to use the uh, controller right stick to move the camera for me while holding forward on the uh, keyboard so I move in a straight line at all times. Also, it's very useful to have the map open whenever you can. It's, it's instinct for me to always open the map first thing I do. Now you just run over this tree here, master the text. Now you just want to take a straight line. Uh, you want to hug the, the building I crossed there while you're ramming the barricade. So just hug this building here and then just go straight forward. <clears throat> uh, I'll show off what happens when you use the mouse to aim with a, or when you use the mouse on a tank here. But look at this. You see my AP? Yeah, it's gone. It's just disappearing. Just using the mouse. Like, I'm not even moving. I'm just... Yeah, it's moving my tank forward for some reason. And I don't understand why. Uh, shot the tank. Shot the wall. Glorious. So yeah, never, ever, ever use the mouse when you're driving the tank. Or else bad things will happen. Like that. So we're just going to reload this. <coughs> now, your second action here. You want to basically... You want to avoid ramming these guys. So just... Get as close as you can while ramming them. And then once you blow up this barricade, just turn here so you want to hug this wall to the left. Hug that building. Drive as close as possible. Or drive as far as possible. Master that text, but don't make sure you don't mash too fast. Or else you'll actually confirm the fire before the text appears. Which is very bad. Now, in order to kill this tank, you need one shot at the body 
and one shot the radiator. So I like to just aim at the radiator for the first shot, and if always gets it, good. If he does it, well, you get a second try. So there we got the radiator shot, perfectly. Um, if the always misses the radiator and hits the tank, um, that's fine, because then your second action, you can just drive up this close and just get a guaranteed shot, a nearly guaranteed shot at the radiator. But since we already had the radiator shot, we're just going to aim at the body, because it's a lot easier to hit. And that's enough to kill it. And that's chapter 2. <coughs> so that's all three chapters done. So that's the uh, first three tutorial chapters done. Ch the prologue, chapter 1, and chapter 2. And this is when the run starts getting uh, serious. <laughs>